We're back with part four of this week's reading from the Messianic Jewish Family Bible Trail Life Version, TLV, and we're reading Exodus 25 through 40, and I can't believe we're on part four already. Um, I'm really hoping part three gets when I upload it because I went pretty far. Um, so I don't rehearse these. These are like off the top reading. I'm just recording them for you. So yes, it's it, 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 if I was uh, in front of you, um, all the bloopers are there. I'm not I'm not actually cutting them out. They're there. Um, it's real. Chapter 30 is the incense altar. And it says, you are to make an altar of acacia wood for burning incense. It is to be square, one cubit in length and one cubit wide, and two cubits high. The horns must be one piece with it. You are to overlay it with pure gold on top, all around the sides and over the horns. Also, you are to make a crown of gold for it all around. Make two golden rings for it under the crown and on the two sides. They will be holders for poles to carry. Make the poles of acacia wood and overlay them with gold. You are to set it in front of the curtain that is in front of the Ark of the Testimony. In front of the atonement covers that it is over the testimony where I will meet with you. Aaron must burn sweet spices of incense there every morning. When he attends to the lamps, he is to burn it. Also, when Aaron keeps the lamps lit at dusk, he must burn it. There must be incense continually before Adonai throughout your generations. You must not offer up unauthorized incense on it, nor should any burnt offering or grain offering be there, nor should you pour any drink offering there. Aaron is to make the atonement upon the horns once a year, with the blood of the sin offering throughout your generations, it is most holy to Adonai. Now we're moving into Parashat Ki Tisa. Census and ransom money. Then Adonai spoke to Moses saying, When you tally the sum of Benaiah Israel by numbering them, then every man must pay a ransom for his soul to Adonai when you count them, so that no plague will fall on them. Everyone among them who crosses over must give a give half a shekel according to the sanctuary shekel, which is 20 geras. So um, a shekel is a silver coin, and um, it's probably about mm, 28 cents to the U.S. dollar. I, I'm just kind of guessing. Um, and a gera is 1 20th of a shekel. So, um, everyone who crosses over among them who is counted from 20 years old and up is to give the offering to Adonai. The rich are not to give more and the poor are not to give less than half a shekel, than half the shekel when they present the offering of Adonai to make atonement for your souls. You are to take the atonement money from Benaiah Israel and give it for the service of the tent meeting so that it may be a memorial for Benaiah Israel before Adonai to make atonement for your souls. The, the basin for washing. Adonai spoke to Moses saying, You will also make a basin of bronze with a bronze stand for washing. You are to place it between the tent of meeting and the altar and put water in it. Aaron and his sons are to wash their hands and feet there. Whenever they go into the tent of meeting or come near the altar to minister to present an offering made by fire and smoke to Adonai, they are to wash with water so that they do not die. They are to wash their hands and their feet so that they do not die. It is to be an eternal statute to them, to him, and to his offspring throughout their generations. And the holy anointing oil. Moreover, Adonai spoke to Moses, saying, Now take for yourself the best spices, 500 shekels of flowing myrrh, half as much sweet cinnamon, 250, uh, also 250 shekels of sweet calamus, 500 of cassia after the sanctuary shekel, plus a hin of olive oil. You are to make holy anointing oil from it, a fragrant mixture blended as the work of a perfumer, it will be holy anointing oil. You are 
to anoint the tent meeting with it, the Ark of the Testimony, as well as the table and all its articles, the menorah and its articles, the article of incense, the altar of burnt offering with all its utensils and the basin along with its stand. You are to consecrate them so that they will be most holy. Whatever touches them will become holy. You are to anoint to anoint Aaron and his sons and consecrate them so that they may minister to me as Kohanim. Speak to Benaiah Israel, saying, This is to be a holy anointing oil to me throughout your generations. It must not be poured on human flesh, nor are you to make any like it with its formula. It is holy and it must be holy to you. Whoever mixes any like this and whoever puts any of it on anyone unauthorized will be cut off from his people. Then Adonai said to Moses, Take the sweet spices, stocksy, which is spelled S-T-A-C-T-E, anica, and galbanum. The spices are pure frankincense. The, the spices and pure frankincense are to be in equal measures. Make a fragrant mixture from it, then a blend like the work of the perfumer seasoned with salt, pure and holy. You are to beat some of it into powder and set it before the testimony in the tent of meeting where I will meet with you. It is to be the most holy to you. Put the incense which you make with its formula you are you are not to make for yourselves. It is to be holy to you for Adonai. Whoever makes any like it to breathe in its smell will be cut off from his people. So that is the end of chapter 30. Okay, I just want to go back on what a shekel is. Um, I had done a little bit of research before on it. Um, this A shekel is 20 geras. Today, the dollar is equal to 3.54 shekels. A half a shekel... A half a shekel is the offering of the Lord, um, and this was to be done um, by everyone that was 20 years or older, both rich and poor. Um, this was um, for, the, for the atonement for their souls. Chapter 31, and I apologize, my, my voice is actually cutting in and out here. I'm, I, I'm having a little bit of an allergy um, issue today with sneezing, so I'm kind of losing my voice now as I'm recording this. So bear with me on this one. Um, okay, so chapter 31 is Ruach-filled craftsmen, spirit-filled craftsmen. Remember, I'm, I, I, I had mentioned that earlier, that, that God had filled his spirit into, into specific people that he chose to be able to do all of, all of these. He gave them talents to be able to to be perfumers, to be crafters, to be weavers, um, to, to get this job done. So it's the Holy Spirit filled, actually. Then Adonai spoke to Moses saying, See, I have called by name Bezalel, son of Uri, and that's U-R-I, and Bez Bezalel is spelled B-E-Z-A-L-E-L, -E the son of Uri, son of Hur, um, H-U-R, of the tribe of Judah. And I have filled him with the Spirit of God, with wisdom, understanding, and knowledge, and all kinds of craftsmanship to make ingenious designs, to forge with gold, silver, and bronze, as well as cutting stones for setting and carving wood, to work in all manner of craftsmanship also. Look, I myself have appointed him with Aholiab, son of Ahisamach, of the tribe of Dan. Within the hearts of all who are wise-hearted, I have placed skill, so that they may make everything that I have commanded you. And Aholiab is spelled O-H-O-L-I-A-B, and Ahisamach is a H I S A M A C H, and these guys are from the tribe of Dan. Within the hearts of all who are wise hearted, I have placed skill so that they may make everything that I have commanded you the tent of meeting, the ark of the testimony, the atonement cover that is to be on it, all the furnishings of the tabernacle, the table and the utensils, the menorah of pure gold with all its utensils, the altar of incense, the altar of burnt offering with all its utensils, 
the basin and its stand, the woven garments, the holy garments for Aaron, the Kohen, the garments for his sons to minister as Kohanim, the anointing oil, the incense of sweet spices for the holy place. They are to make them just as how I commanded you. Shabbat, a perpetual covenant sign. This is this is the second part of chapter 31. Then Adonai spoke to Moses, saying, Speak now to Benaiah Israel. Surely you must keep my sh- Shabbat, for it is a sign between me and you throughout your generations, so that you may know that I am Adonai, who sac- sanctifies you so, to keep the Sabbath, to keep the Shabbat. Therefore, you are to keep the Shabbat, Shabbat um, because it is holy for, for you. Everyone who profanes it will die. For whoever does any work during Shabbat, um, that soul will be cut off from the midst of his people. Work is to be done for six days, but on the seventh day, a Shabbat of complete rest, holy to Adonai. Whoever does any work on, on Shabbat will surely be put to death. But Benaiah Israel is to keep Shabbat, to observe Shabbat throughout your, your generations as a perpetual covenant. It is a sign between me and Benaiah Israel forever. For in six days, Adonai made heaven and earth, and on the seventh day he ceased from work and rested. When he finished speaking with him on Mount Sinai, he gave the two tablets of the testimony to Moses, tablets of stone, written by the finger of God. Okay, so Moses had been up on the mount um, getting... um, the Ten Commandments, getting the instructions for um, making the tabernacle to, to every little detail. And when this was all finished, you know, the tablets of stone were written by the finger of God and they were given to Moses. In chapter 32, we have the molten calf and the smashing of the tablets. As we know what happened, um, because Moses was gone too long, and the people kind of went went about their own little ways and got themselves into trouble. Um, now, when the people saw that Moses delayed coming down from the mountain, they gathered around Aaron and said to him, "Get up, make us gods who will who will go before us." As for this Moses, the man that brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we do not know what's become of him. So Aaron said to them. Break off the golden rings that are in your in the ears of your wives, your sons, and your daughters, and bring them to me. So all the people broke off the golden rings that were in their ears and brought them to Aaron. He received them from their hand and made a molten calf fashioned with chiseling tool. Then they said, This then they said, This is your God, Israel, which brought you up out of the land of Egypt. When Aaron saw it, he built an altar before it. Then Aaron made a proclamation. Aaron shouldn't have gone along with this, though. Um, Tomorrow will be a feast to Adonai. They rose up early the next morning, sacrificed burnt offerings, and brought fellowship offerings. The people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to make merry. Then Adonai said to Moses, Go down, for your people whom you brought out of the land of Egypt have become debased. They quickly turned aside from the path that I commanded for them, They had made a molten calf, worshipped it, and sacrificed to it, and said, This is your God, O Israel, that brought you up out of the land of Egypt? Adonai said to Moses, I have seen this people, and behold, it is a stiff-necked people. Now therefore leave me alone, so my wrath may burn hot against them, and so I may consume them and make from you a great nation. Then so he was he wanted he was going to destroy them and and then start all over with Moses. And Moses sought Adonai, his God, and said, "Adonai, why should your wrath burn hot against your people, whom you have brought forth out of the land of Egypt with great power and with a mighty hand? Why should the Egyptians say he brought them out to do evil, to slay them in the mountains, and to annihilate them from the face of the earth?" Turn from your fierce wrath and relent from this destruction against your people. Remember Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, your your servants, to whom you swore by your own self, and said to them, I will multiply your seed as the stars of heaven, and all this land that I have spoken of I will give to your offspring, so they will inherit it forever. So Adonai relented from the destruction that he said he would do to his people. 
Moses pleaded the case for the people. And, you know, God loved Moses so much that, you know, he was able to, to, to relent because he, he heard what Moses was saying. And then Moses turned and went down from the mountain with the two tablets of the testimony in his hand, tablets that were written on both sides on one and on the other. The tablets were the work of God and the writing was the writing of God engraved on the tablets. When Joshua heard the noise of the people as they shouted, he said to Moses, There is the sound of war within the camp. But Moses said, It is not the voice of a shout of victory, nor it is the voice of crying from defeat, but I hear the sound of singing. Then it happened, as soon as Moses came near the camp, he saw the calf and the dancing, and his anger, his anger burned hot. So he threw the tablets out of his hand and smashed them at the foot of the mountain. Then he took the calf that they made, burned it with fire, ground it to powder, scattered it all on the surface of the water, and made Benaiah Israel drink it. Then Moses said to Aaron, What did this people do to you to make you bring such great sin upon them? Aaron said, Don't be angry, my lord. You know these people yourself and how they are set on evil. They said to me, Make gods for us to go before us. As for this Moses, the man that brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we don't know what happened to him. So I said to them, whoever has any gold, let them break it off. So they gave it to me and I threw it into the fire and out came this calf. When Moses saw that the people were unrestrained because Aaron had let them run wild to become a joke among their enemies, Moses stood at the gate at the camp and said, Whoever is on Adonai's side, let him come to me. Then all the sons of Le Levi or Levi, Levi gathered themselves together to him. He said to them, This is what Adonai, the God of Israel, says. Every man put on his sword and go to and fro from gate to gate throughout the camp and say and slay his brother, his friend, and his neighbor. So the sons of Levi did as Moses said, and that day from among the people, there fell about 3,000 men. Then Moses said, Consecrate your hands today to Adonai, so that he may give you a blessing today, for every man has been against his son and his brother. So it happened the following day, Moses said to the people, You have committed a horrendous sin, so now I will go up to Adonai, but perhaps I can make atonement for your sin. Then Moses returned to Adonai and said, Alas, these people have sinned greatly and made gods of gold yet now please forgive them their sin but if not please blot me out of your book that you have written adonai said to moses whoever has sinned against me i will blot out of my book now go lead the people to the place that i told you about my angel will go before you nevertheless on the day when i take account i will hold them accountable for their sin so adonai struck the people because of what they did with the calf that aaron had made so, again, Moses was pleading the case of the people and, and said, you know, don't if you're going to destroy them, then blot my name out as well. And I'm going to have to pause this because I went way over. Uh, so I will be back with part five.